In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure root guard on a switch, on a Cisco switch. But before I, you know, uh, dive into the configuration, uh, let's see how root guard works. Root guard works. Um, and of course, we're going to look at how we can configure it. And we're going to use these commands to verify that it's working as um, these commands to verify that it's working as expected. Yeah, so root guard is used to protect the span and tree topology of a network by enforcing the location of the root bridge or root switch. Um, if a port root guard enabled on it receives a superior, superior BPDU, meaning um, a BPDU with um, a BPDU with lower bridge ID, a switch with with lower bridge ID, the the port will transition into an root inconsistent blocked state. So we're going to uh, demonstrate or simulate this uh, a little later. But uh, let's look how let's look at how we can configure a root guard on a uh, on a single port. You can only configure it. On a uh, on a port by port uh, basis, you can now configure it in the uh, global configuration command. So let me just uh, yeah, this is the topology that I'm going to use in this video. Um, so let me just go into the go into switch one, and of course I already configured the span entry here on these switches see that RSTP is configured on both switches um, and we see that um, just show you here so I want to enforce that switch one is the root bridge and this topology and switch two is just um, another you know uh, bridge but if you look at the configuration here uh, switch one has a higher uh, bridge ID, and I think we can. Let me just uh, do something here. Bridge ID, yeah, this one. <clears throat> so plus the uh, VLAN ID, VLAN ID one. So that's why the bridge ID is. Uh, actually, this is the bridge ID. Yeah. Bridge ID is composed of the priority or consist. Yeah, it's composed of the priority and the uh, and the MAC and the MAC address. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, like I said, uh, switch one has a higher bridge ID, or bridge, uh, or priority and switch two has a lower priority so in this case uh, switch two will become the root bridge actually but if i wanna uh, enforce that switch one will be the root bridge i can actually use this command here um, so let me just go into that uh, interface so in this case the interface is ethernet zero slash zero And the command is this span and tree root guard or yeah guard root guard root guard root. So it's just a single line command or it's just yeah single line command. Just just one command. Let me just uh, expand this. Um, yeah, so we got we got an error message that says span and tree to root guard blocked root guard blocking port Ethernet on VLAN one. So uh, root guard is working as expected. So it's supposed to be supposed to put the port uh, into an actually the terminology is root inconsistent state or blocked state. And there is, uh, these are the, actually we don't need this. Oops, I can 
just uh, use it anyway. Now we see that it's, it's uh, connected, but we don't really need to see that. I want to see that the port is in the blocking state here. Yeah, and of course I use this command, debug command, to uh, see these uh, these messages. But I think you don't have to use it. But I I use it anyway. So to resolve the issue, um, we just have to let me just use that command again. Mm, I'm actually going to just reversed, I mean, put this command into uh, switch one. Or just uh, remove this first. And I'm going to interchange the, these commands. And remove that and put this. So this is how you enforce that, you know, switch one is the root bridge. Um, yeah, it says here, root garden blocking port, it unblock the port, it unblocks the port automatically because it's not receiving a superior, a superior BPDU anymore. So if you use this command here, let's check again. Yeah, now it's in uh, the forwarding state. So yeah, that's how root guard works. And that's how you can, can configure it. Again, you can just, you can configure it on a port by port basis. And these are the commands that you can use um, well, we don't need this one, but uh, these are the commands that you can use to verify that it's that it it is working as expected. So yeah, that's all in this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. I'll, I'll see you on the next one.